let me ask you a question are you wanting to create a live stream for twitch or are you considering getting into the youtube business and uploading high quality content on youtube well, before you go out and buy a, a new webcam or a dslr camera that costs you a whole lot of money hold on because you may be carrying an awesome camera that can save you a lot of money to get started in your pocket or stuffed in a drawer somewhere you might have an extra one hi guys my name is stando and i have been streaming on twitch for six years now and along the way i have picked up some awesome tips and tricks that help my stream look better over time and evolve and i've also picked, used applied some of those tips and tricks to uploading content here on youtube that being said i want to share some of that content with you guys and in today's video i am going to be showing you how to use your cell phone as a webcam in obs but before we get started please consider subscribing to my channel for more tips and tricks videos like this one coming in the future with all of that out of the way let's get started straight into the video Now you are going to need a few things, of course. You are going to need a cell phone. The cell phones that uh, I've used that have probably the best cameras out there, you guys already know, right? The Apple iPhone is a, a great example. The Google Pixel has amazing picture quality. Samsung Galaxy, uh, that's what I'm using right now. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy 10. Also, their Note series is really good. LG has a V series that has really high quality cameras on them and there are some others out there that have better camera tech than some of the other phones and some of the other non-brand companies so really consider that before doing this is the quality of your cell phone if you're into the the higher tier brands you probably already have a great camera that's great for live streaming and great for creating YouTube content. Another thing you're going to need is you're going to need a camera stand, right? Because when you're live streaming, playing that video game, it's going to look really wonky trying to do whatever you're doing and the camera shaking all over the place. So you're probably going to want to invest in a twenty to thirty dollars stand that keeps the, the the stand from bouncing all over, or keeps the camera from bouncing all over the place. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to need is a program called OBS Studio. Now, OBS Studio, listen to me, OBS Studio. Do not install Streamlabs OBS. Do not install slobs, okay? A lot of the plugins that I'm gonna be talking about in this video series don't work on Streamlabs OBS. I don't know if this one does or not, but let's just assume that it doesn't work in Streamlabs OBS and that it only works in OBS Studios. I know it's great, it's fantastic. You wanna use some of those easy to use plugins in Streamlabs, but to be honest, that program is way over bloated and eats up a lot of resources. It's glitchy. It's just not as good as OBS Studio. And so I highly recommend that you install OBS Studio <laughs> over slobs. Don't do slobs. Of course, I'm putting the link of OBS Studio down in the description for you guys. And once you've got that installed, you're going to need an, what's called the NDI plugin for OBS Studio. And I'm also gonna leave a link for it down in the description. All the tools that you're gonna to need are down in the description box. The next link you're gonna need is a link to the smart or I'm sorry, the new tech NDI program that you it's an APK program that you're going to need to install on your phone. All right, now that you've got the APK downloaded, installed, and running up on your phone, I'm gonna show you how to use it real quick. Let's do that. Now that you got the new tech NDI app installed on your phone, you're gonna to wanna to go to the app and there you can see it pops up. Uh, now you've got a quality button. Uh, you can switch from the 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 rear camera because right now, as you can see, it's on the rear camera. You're gonna if you want to use a video monitor, you you can switch that and use the front facing camera, so you can see your face. 
it does have a microphone it's pretty good quality this is really handy in case you're walking away from the computer and you want to take your camera with you and unhook it from the stand uh, I would leave that off if you're using another audio device like a, a blue snowball mic or a Yeti or a professional mic of some sort another thing that you can do is adjust the brightness here and you can also adjust the zoom on the far left so you could also put it in grid mode if you need to and you can access the light your your flash if you need a little bit more light uh, from here another thing you want to do is you want to turn the quality up high there you go and then as soon as you hit this middle button it will be it's not going to be recording to your device or recording anything it's simply sending as soon as you hit this button the the, the white button turns red shows that it's live and that you're sending that signal to your router and you're good to go you can put this back up on your stand and uh let's i'll show you how that plug-in works now on obs studio all right so you've got the app and everything running on the phone you've got it plugged up you might want to use a power source and keep the phone plugged in because this is going to use a lot of battery it's going to eat that battery up quick so you, you kind of want to have it plugged in while you're doing this so now i'm going to show you how to install the plug in and how to set it up in obs studio let's get on that okay guys here's where we're going to get the plug in for uh the new tech ndi that we installed on our phone right so this is where we're getting the plug in to make this work in OBS. You've probably, if you're new to streaming, you've probably never installed a plug in in OBS before, but don't worry, I wanna show you how to do this. So you're gonna to wanna to go down here, you're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna click, uh, let's see, the OBS 4.91. There we go. It's gonna take us down here to the 4.91 page, it fixes and issues, it gives you the patch notes, all that good stuff, the changes since. We're gonna uh, get this release page on GitHub. And there you go. And once you click that link, it's gonna take you here, which is gonna give you the files down here. I'm using Windows, so I'm, I'm gonna use the Windows installer. And so you click this, you want to tell it where to go, probably in your downloads folder. Don't worry about all this stuff. I've got a lot of crap on my computer. And you're going to save it, right? Bing. And then you're just going to open it up. You're going to allow Windows to do it. And I already have this installed. You're going to hit next, next, and install and just kind of follow directions. I will say that not all plugins are this easy to install on OBS Studio. This is one of the more easier ones. Usually the, the, the file that you download, you have to move over. You have to unzip it into the OBS folder itself so that it, attack, it overwrites the plugins. It takes all the existing plugins while adding its new ones in there. Uh, so yeah. Just letting you know that this is one of the more easier ones. It's It's got its own install process. Now, you're going to want to open your fresh OBS install. Of course, mine's not fresh. I've got some extra stuff around here that uh, helps me with my Twitch stream. But yours should look pretty much like this aside from these docs that I have lying around. But that doesn't matter. All you need to do now is add the source into a scene. So we got our new scene here, and we're gonna add a source. You're gonna add the NDI source, and you can call it whatever. You can call it, hey, cell phone. There you go. Or you can call it Samsung Galaxy 10 or Apple iPhone X, whatever. You, you, you can really bling here. Just call it whatever you want. You can call it, my muddy butthole I mean if that's what you want to call it 
that's up to you. So now you got my buddy butthole uh, installed here on your thing. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to the source. Now, if you've hit a record already on your cell phone, your phone should show up here. Hit that. Oh, sorry. Um, you're going to select your bandwidth type. Mine is, I usually set mine to the lowest actually because it's got a little hitch in it and it, it I, I don't like the hitch. It's like just a little like frame rate hitch. So I set mine to the lowest. If you don't have that hitch, leave it to the highest setting, of course, absolutely. The rest is stiff, doesn't matter. You don't need to mess with any of this stuff, really. All right, we, we, I can't make this video last forever, guys. Just hit okay. Okay, and there's our camera. Look at there, look at there. All right, and we're just gonna stretch that out. Whoa. And there you go. That is how you add your webcam to OBS Studio or your phone. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you found this actually pretty helpful and I hope that it works for you and makes your live stream look awesome. Because yeah, another thing I want to show you guys, right, is like I fell into that trap, right? I looked at the Logitech C920 and the quality just isn't there all the time right uh it doesn't it's like the light input is kind of muted or something and it makes your color palette look muted and then it's like it's undersaturated but then i bought this keo the razor keo which is supposed to be like uh just as good <laughs> as the uh, logitech c920 with a uh with a richer color palette. And I'm gonna show you this real quick. Uh, it's kind of really oversaturated, okay? Like, check this out. Look how oversaturated this video is <laughs> up here. Uh, and wow, like the green is like all over the place. It's taking in too much light. Uh, at times and not enough light in, in the darker areas and so it's it's not even it, it my face looks orange and I know you have to like play around with the settings in this to get it right and you can do that if you want to buy one of these webcams go ahead I just don't think that they're as good as what you're already carrying in your pocket I think what you're carrying in the pocket is obviously better quality and got natural lighting options that just make you look better all on its own and this looks really bad so yeah that's that's my opinion and that's probably a, another reason to do this because your cell phone is like the perfect gap right between webcam technology and dslr of course, your phone's not a DSLR camera, but it does have some of the tech that's in a DSLR camera, whereas a webcam doesn't. Uh, webcams don't really evolve all that much over time, and there's only so much you can fit into a webcam, and that's why we've had the Logitech C920 around for five years now. There's just not a whole lot that goes into making webcams. Yeah, there's the Brio. It's pretty much a C920 for 4K, with the same washed out colors i'm telling you guys it, it's an okay camera if you want to go and spend uh i think it's like 150 dollars right now for a logitech c920 uh that's another thing they're price gouging those due to the current uh situation we're living in um so instead of 70 dollars, you're paying like double for the webcam but i just don't think that those webcams are worth that especially when you got one free right in your pocket that's better looking but again, like I said, my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Do you like this? Or do you like this? Me, I'm, I'm, I'm more of right here.
But anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you in today's video. I will have some future tips and tricks to help you with your live stream or help you with your YouTube video in the future. But let me know what you, this is really my first tutorial video. Let me know how I did down in the comments below. And while you're down there, leave a like on the video. And as I said, subscribe, please. Can't say that enough, guys. Also, if you want to come and talk to me about what cell phone you're using and how, how, how this worked out for you, come over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Nando. We'll talk all about it. Love your faces, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.